what is a Paleolithic diet and why is it so popular today? Well, Paleolithic stands for the Old Stone Age, and the Old Stone Age began with the invention of stone tools, and that happened about two and a half million years ago, and it lasted up until the beginnings of the Agricultural Revolution, which was 10,000 years ago. And during that period, all humans were hunter-gatherers, and the food that they consumed uh, was the food that they could forage, hunt, gather, or fish, and it was basically fresh food. Obviously, there was no processed foods or any foods that came about uh, with the Neolithic and the Industrial Revolution. So what we try to do with the contemporary paleo diet is to try to mimic the food groups that our ancestral hunter-gatherers consumed and with modern foods that, you can, that are available at the supermarket. Uh, the only real caveat to that is, the only exception is that I think it's uh, better if people can get grass-produced meats, beef, free-ranging chicken, and so forth. So those are superior to uh, meat that has been produced in a grain, or a, a grain produced in a feedlot. So that's pretty much uh, the basis of the diet. And uh, if you look at the, the food groups that our Stone Age ancestors didn't consume, they didn't eat cereal grains except as starvation foods occasionally. They certainly weren't staples. Um, they didn't consume dairy products because they hadn't domesticated cows. And all of the processed foods that we eat now uh, come from four major uh, food groups, cereal grains, dairy products, vegetable oils, and refined sugars, and salt. And if you put those all together, you can call it a donut, a cookie, a pizza. Um, you can call it anything you want, but it's basically the same four ingredients that are used uh, in all sorts of processed foods. And uh, <clears throat> most Americans and Europeans consume roughly 70% of their calories as those four uh, food types. And so what we try to do is eliminate or uh, severely reduce those foods and focus on real living foods like fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, uh, nuts and seeds, and as I mentioned, grass-produced meats. Uh, seafood and, and fish are really the foundation of this diet. Se specialgjorda videokurser i högsta kvalitet. Se videointervjuer där framgångshistorier bjuder på sina bästa tips. Se intervjuer med världens största experter på vikt och hälsa. Och alla engelska intervjuer textade på svenska. Samt föreläsningar och film. Gå bara till kostdoktorn.se-medlem så kan du titta vidare inom en minut. Varmt välkommen! Välkommen!